everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon because you get notifications every time I'm on my channel, which every Tuesdays, Fridays and sometimes we do the Sunday video. So in today's video, this is going to be another episode of Birchwood Farm, episode 26 of Birchwood Farm in fact. Um, and as you can see, uh, there's not much happening on Birchwood Farm. But um, there is a lot of action happening in the field, as shown there, but we'll get to that later. So, let's get on with the video. So, starting off over here then, we've got the Massey Ferguson 6613 uh, pulling a load of um, dung from the neighbouring farm of uh, the NC uh, mud trail on the back. He's just uh, tipping it in the field so the muck spreader can come along and spread it across the field. Um, so he's on that big job there. Um, I think he's got to cart another three loads back and forth and then he'll be done for the day. But um, yeah, what a beast and setup that is. Um, over the field, this field has just been uh, drilled a couple of days ago. So um, yeah, John's out. It's John Deere 6920. And uh, he's realised his, his name matches with the uh, John Deere tractor. So his name's John and the tractor's called John Deere. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's just rolling that field there. He's only got... Uh, probably a few runs up and down the field and then he'll be finished for that field um, and then he can spoil the weeds off and let uh, the field grow um, but yeah moving on to Birchwood Farm as you can see um, the new tractor has got his bonnet up and you may be thinking oh no what's wrong with it now but it isn't actually nothing well there is something wrong with it but yep they've had a fire when they, when it arrived uh, the first few hours they started it up and they thought um, it was sort of steam under the bonnet but no it was actually a fire under the bonnet I don't know if you can see all the white uh, sort of effects um, all over the window yeah that was the fire extinguisher uh, but I hope they're going to get insurance on that and maybe get a claim uh, to think it's dodgy or something um, but yeah you've also got another um, Fent 936 with the NC uh, muck, muck spread on the back um, so he's just doing a load of muck for the dairy farm there from the um, contractor's yard. Obviously you've got all the machinery um, around the yard there with the um, still Eiffel Williams cattle trailer. Um, still sort of in the undergrowth there. They're hoping still to pull that out soon, hopefully in the next episode in the next couple of days. Uh, the cows are coming in for milking again, so they milk them twice a day on this dairy farm. Um, and it is going well so far, so they've just got all the cattle in. Uh, milking is going well. So, um, yeah, across the road um, to the dairy farm, we've got Birchwood Farm, um, and then we have the road, the busy traffic. We've got the Subaru going by, the Blue Peugeot and the caravan. Um, and then obviously on Birchwood Farm, there isn't much happening, um, apart from tomorrow, there will be a tractor run happening. Um, so obviously he's just making sure the yard's all clear for tomorrow. <coughs> and making sure all the machinery is tucked back in the yard, making sure it's all safe. Uh, and all the dangerous parts of the farm are blocked off for the little children walking around the tractors. All the silage clamp, they're hoping to park some tractors in front of the silage tr clamp just to block it off for the little kids running around. Um, but yeah, they've, they've got plans of it being good, really good. Um, they are hopefully doing another uh, tractor run, even bigger, which is going to be a Christmas tractor run. Uh, but yeah, this one's just going to be sort of a November little tractor run going around the village uh, and raising money for the British Air Ambulance. Um, but yeah, not much happening on Birch Farm, like I said, but there's mostly loads of people in the workshop fixing the mower. Uh, the deck on the mower's gone, uh, the silage grab, all the weight blocks and that. Uh, but yeah, just odd jobs on the farm, tidying it up. And then we have the dealership over the road, uh, which is quite empty, unfortunately. Um, well, they have sold a new Holland T7 in the last episode, so that was last... Uh, Wednesday I think that was so he um, yeah he pulled he, he bought that from this dealership they're here and um, but they've still got loads of machinery to sell uh, and advertise on their online store obviously we've got the new Holland in stock and um, looking shiny and really good obviously they've got the Chandler sign and the Adcock uh, Agri LTD sign on the front too so they've got T5 T7 and a T6 all the different ranges here and then if I pan the camera around, yep, here it is. The drill has got stuck in the mud. Now, this is unbelievable. They have never got a tractor stuck this deep in the mud. Um, well, ever really. Um, they have just finished the field uh, drilling. So obviously he's come to an end and he's just reached a wet patch. So how inconvenient is that? Is he completed the whole, the whole field without getting stuck. And then at the last run, he gets stuck. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, they have got no tractors 
to sort of pull him out of the mud. The Vulture is all cleaned for the tractor run, uh, so they can't really use that. So they thought, what a good, a great opportunity to walk over to the dealership and say, can we borrow one of your tractors? And they were quite friendly actually, and so they uh, let them have the Case Free Hunt, the Case IH Puma, uh, no, the Optum, sorry, uh, pull the John Deere out. Now, what a sight that is! A case pulling out a John Deere, that's what we like, don't we? Um, but yeah, all the spectators watching, so he's just uh, got uh, got out of his John Deere, obviously watching all the um, well, watching all the pipes don't break, uh, the front linkage and all that, but yeah, he's got a weight block on the front, so that does help with towing. Um, and obviously he forgot to lift the um, drill up, so that isn't helping either. But yeah, anyway, the telehandler's there, and that was just the um, the telehandler that loaded up the drill, but obviously he had to get out and help tow them out. But uh, yeah, anyway, I really hope you enjoyed that episode, guys. If you did, please like and subscribe, um, and hopefully we will, in the next episode, episode 27, uh, this will be the tractor run, so the little tractor run. Um, there'll be loads of vintage and big tractors on the vintage tractor run. And uh, yeah, so like I said, hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.